there's an old saying that practice makes perfect. But actually, practice makes really, really good. So we're gonna talk about practice and what it did in my first full year of racing Speedway right now. After a crazy couple of months in D3 at Costa Mesa, Ken Maley, the hot shoe man, came up to me and he said, you know, Brian, you need lessons. He was being a salesman because he hired Dub Farrell to do Speedway School lessons at his ranch in Corona, California. And Ken asked me, like, do you want to learn Speedway better? Do you want to ride and improve your skills? And I said, yes, Ken. And he said, dangerous Dub Farrell is coming to my ranch next Saturday and Sunday. And he's gonna give you a two day lesson for $300. That was like $1,000 today, right? And he said, do you want to learn and be a good writer and just come out? And I said, okay, I'll be out and I'll bring you the 300. Dangerous Dub Farrell, he just finished getting number two in the United States Nationals next to Mike Bass, I believe. And I thought he would be a good teacher. The number two spirit writer in the United States, I'll take that one. My first day was like a Saturday and Dub went ahead and watched me for like one lap or two laps. I said, come here, come here, stop, stop. And I said, what? And he goes, you're riding a 22 inch tire and you look terrible. And I said, yeah, I don't know what I'm riding. I said, I'm just riding a speedway bike. He had a spare wheel from Jerry Fairchild. And he said, we're gonna put this 19 inch tire on. I didn't know how to do it. So Dub put it on for me. And then he watched me ride and I looked a little better. And then he said, come here, come here, come here. And I said, what? And he said, you need to take your seat off. And I said, why? And he goes, your butt's sitting on the seat too much. You need to take that seat off and learn how to ride Speedway, getting your nuts up to the tank and really riding like a Speedway rider. And I said, okay. So I took my seat off, had the 19 inch tire. And I start moving pretty good around the speedway track. I was getting up on the bike when I'm sliding. I did pretty good. So Dub was teaching me all kinds of his little tricks. And I learned a lot in those two days. And I want to thank you, Dub, if you see this video. He did a great job. Dangerous Dub Farrell. Every weekend, I would load up my speedway bike in my van and I'd drive down the 91 freeway, get off at Main Street in Corona and take side streets, little roads, all the way to Lake Elsinore. Before the I-15 was built, we had to take little side streets. It took us like hours to get to Lake Elsinore, but we got to Lake Elsinore every weekend and we did something called practice. I would practice my starts over and over again. Because I realized in Speedway, if you're a good gator and you start really good, you can win that race. And I wanted to win the race. I was preparing to win races. I worked over and over and over on my starts. I would practice my turns over and over again, going into the turns. My pit man would bring these orange cones and he would throw them at me in the middle of the turn and I'd have to dodge them. I'd have to, Aah! and then, he taught me reflexes. Sometimes when you race, bikes come into you fast. So he's throwing cones at me. I'm like, woo, if the cone hit me, I was dead. So I would like duck my head. I would be moving the bike, stopping the bike, everything. The cones were coming at me, the cone heads. <laughs> practice was the key to my success. I'd go over and practice over and over again. And I looked like I was getting better. My starts were good, my turns were good.
I was preparing for the next Speedway season. Why? Because I wanted to kiss the trophy girl. I wanted to win races. I wasn't about going out there like waving like, hi, I'm the bumblebee. I wasn't about that. I just had one thing in mind and that was winning. I like to win and the next year I had a really great season. I won like six handicap mains in division one. I went from division three to division one winning handicap mains. I was a low yardage marker, but still I won those mains. Also, the first year, I won my first championship against the champion, Rad Brad Oxley. It was a king of the hill, match race champion. Bruce the Fox Penhall, and I won him in a main event at Ventura Speedway. He was right on my tail. Bruce Penhall was an amazing future champion at that time a future world champion and I took him down. He was wanting me so bad and I'm like, gossip, gossip. So you have to ride hard to win these guys. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Practice was really good. I still like to practice. If I come out and race again in Costa Mesa, let me use your bike and let me go a little practice and I will love that. Also, I want to say goodbye in my practice video. I was a little bit of a ham when I was young and I made this little video and I just said goodbye. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you right now. So that's it. Please like, share, subscribe, and always ring that bell.